What is up everybody? It is Wick here. We got a video about calculators today, how you can make a lot of money selling calculators. I recently had a video go up one of my vlogs. I found a really good $300 calculator and a lot of people in the comments indicated that they did not realize that these types of calculators were worth money. But today there's a ton of snow that dumped about 10 inches. I'm trapped inside. I'm going to have to spend all day pretty much digging myself out. So I figured we'll just record a video instead of go thrifting today. But calculators are something you come across at thrift stores, garage sales, state sales all the time. Many of them look like they wouldn't be worth money. They look very basic, but they can be worth hundreds of dollars. In this case, they're worth thousands of dollars. This HP 35 scientific calculator. Keep an eye out for any scientific calculator, programming calculator, business calculator, anything special. This one right here, you can see it's got the, the red LE or LCD. I guess it would be LED, not LED, it'd be LCD. I'm not sure what type of screen that would be since it's older, but anytime you see that type of screen on an older calculator, they're worth picking up. Some of them, you know, sell for 20, 30 bucks. Some of them sell for a lot in this case. People collect them, and I imagine people still want to use them for certain things. Here's a mechanical calculator. These things are pretty cool, pretty big, but look at the look at the price, $3,201. You could easily find one of these in somebody's basement at an estate sale, or I could see this laying in a, a Goodwill bin, right? Just sitting there waiting for somebody to pick it up because it, it looks like it's in rough condition. You just don't want to miss this kind of stuff. And then you got another calculator like this, the HP 70. And I sold a calculator like this years ago. Um, it was a lower end. I think I sold it for about $50. I made a terrible mistake. I noticed after I sold it, the base, the like plate here was coming loose. Um, so I put some glue on it and let it sit overnight. Some of the glue leaked in and got the button stuck. <laughs> so I had to cancel the order, tell the person that when I went to ship it, I noticed it had some damage that must have happened during storage. <laughs> so don't make that mistake. But yeah, um, great calculator. Calculator watches. These things are kind of like holy grails. Um, something I really want to find. A lot of them, you know, still sell for 50 to 100 bucks. Here's the 1977 HP1, $1,150 with 32 bids. Such a cool watch. And here's another one, a Seiko. Great prices on these. And there's Omega. Different brands made calculator watches. Even Nintendo had kind of like a calculator watch. So, so keep an eye out for those. And right here, uh, I... This thing, I'm pretty sure I either sold or I have somewhere. It might just be in a tote in the death pile somewhere, or it might just be one similar to it, because I remember the slide case and this calculator. I even remember the manual. But $235 for this little calculator. You could be digging in a basket at Goodwill, and it could just be sitting in there, just like the calculator I found recently. And if you didn't see that vlog, I'll have a link in the description for you if you want to check it out. But you can see even the paperwork for these high-end calculators, $90. That's pretty crazy. I've sold calculator manuals before. I've sold those personal organizers, like the old ones, the the manuals for 20, 30 bucks. People who collect these things, they want the boxes, they want the paperwork. So the more stuff like that you have, the better it's gonna be. Texas Instruments is a great brand to pick up vintage along with HP, Casio. I don't know if Microsoft really made calculators. If so, I bet they're pretty rare because I've, I've never really come across them. But you can see the vintage look, uh, $214 for this one. Here is another, just a graphic calculator, it has the box and everything, 500 bucks. Great little pickup. That one would be pretty easy to, to spot in a Goodwill because it has the screen. It looks like it's more valuable. But some of these, like this one right here, they don't look like they're too valuable. Just at first glance, $311 with two bids. Uh, these come with little cartridges. These cartridges sell great by themselves as well. So just familiarize this stuff in your mind. So if you see these cartridges, you see the manual just sitting you know at a goodwill in a bookshelf or in a box at an estate sale you'll be able to pick it up make some money here's another one 15c i'm pretty sure i sold this or i have it hopefully i didn't sell it too low years ago uh they're actually the prices of these are going up more people are collecting them here's a more modern one it's not super modern but even these still sell great 280 dollars of course, if you do find, they don't have to be vintage if you find a good calculator. HP makes a lot of modern day ones that are still hundreds of dollars. Here's another HP calculator, 19B2 business calculator. Looks nice, folds over, doesn't look like it would be too valuable. Battery door on back, 
Apparently it had something wrong with the battery door, still sold for $269. Here's a unique looking calculator, this AST handheld products. I've never come across one of those, but you know, $250, it's unique. People who collect those are gonna want that. Here is some paperwork and a wand that goes with a calculator. It looks like maybe it scans USB codes or number codes or something. I don't know, $249. So the accessories, the power supplies, the manuals, the paperwork, all that stuff is just as valuable as the calculator. It's one of those things you're digging in a basket at a thrift store with a bunch of cables and wires. This could just be sitting in there. It's happened to me many times, not this particular item, but just items like it. And if you don't know to look for it, you could just look right over it. You know, here's one with the case and the power adapter paperwork. Very nice. Went for some great money. I've picked up calculators like this. I don't know if they're HP. There's different brands, but I've, I've probably picked up a dozen or so vintage calculators like this. And I get anywhere between $20 to $50 for them. Commodore, another unique brand to look out for. People love the Commodore brand, the vintage stuff, but you see it's not that valuable, $40, but still, you know, you're probably picking it up for a dollar or less at a garage sale. Here's a calculator I've actually sold recently. I picked this up at a Goodwill for 69 cents. I sold mine for $25 because had some scratches on it, didn't have the a booklet here. Actually, when I saw this at Goodwill, it kind of blew my mind because I had this when I was a kid. Uh, it was in a, like a bucket in the toys, just like a sand bucket. I looked in there and there it was. And I thought, wow, I haven't thought about this since I was like two or three years old. Here's like a calculator, a uh, personal organizer. These things, certain ones still hold value. I picked up a sharp I don't remember the model or anything, but it didn't work. I sold it not working for $20. I sold the paperwork for about $20. I sold the stylus for about $20. <laughs> so yeah, make sure, and I see this type of stuff all the time, sometimes only a quarter at yard sales and people just don't think it's worth anything. And a lot of them aren't, a lot of them are very basic. Still $44.88 if you're paying a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, even if you gotta spend $5 on it for some reason, you know, they're still worth picking up. There's a lot of money in this stuff. And of course, you know, a typical bread and butter item, I think most people know about these, the TI-84+, Plus, the TI-83+. Plus. People need these for school. A lot of classes require them. So people buy them, they use them one semester or one year, and then they just, donate them, sell them at a garage sale. I've got these things, you know, for 50 cents before. You can see on eBay, this particular one, $60. These things are not hard to move. If you have one, if you price it right, it sells pretty much within the hour. And you'll, you'll find these a lot. Sometimes people want 20 or $30 for them though. If they work and you can test them, there's nothing wrong with paying 20 or $30 for some of them. I sell mine on Amazon. This particular one, I would sell for $75 on Amazon, no problem if it was in good working condition. However, um, you don't wanna sell some vintage calculators. You wouldn't wanna sell the uh, vintage HP 35 calculator on Amazon. That's something you wanna sell on eBay. Also, a tip on these, just hoard them all year until either January or August when people are starting new classes, you'll get quite a bit more money for them. Even if they don't work, these things still sell. So if you're getting them for a dollar or two, you know, you can still make some money on them. Same with all these calculators. It doesn't matter if they don't work. A lot of times you can still make money. So don't be afraid to buy this stuff, even if it looks beat up. But there you have it. That's some calculator examples, some stuff to look for. You can make a lot of money selling calculators. It's something you come across all the time. Are you going to come across, you know, two or three of these a year, probably not. But I bet you after watching this video within the next year, you're gonna find some at least 50 to $100 vintage calculators that you can flip and make some money. But that's it everybody, please hit the like button for me before you go, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick, till next time.